Dear God, angel, spirits, and universe, please allow me to deliver some clear, precise messages for today, for the 19th, or about for whoever needs to hear them. What kind of message do I need to give today? You have all the power. You have all the resources within you. You have all the resources within you to create whatever you want. But you have to take action to bring success. You might have to let go of some things. But if you want success, that shedding will give you more space to open up. There's an opportunity to have some sort of perfect partnership. But in order to get this perfect partnership, you are going to have to shed something. I see that there is some new spark, there is some new opportunity coming, something very exciting. Something that you are going to be very, very attracted to, but you will not see it if you, if you are cloudy. You know, if your mind is cloudy, you're going to have to clear something. Whatever this is, you have to truly let go of it. You have to truly, truly, truly let go of it so it's not clouding your thoughts. It's not hindering you from success. This is an opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. You will receive this opportunity if you can see it, but you have to be able to see it. I, I, I don't, I don't, it hasn't been presented yet. The opportunity hasn't been presented yet because you're not ready. You haven't completely shed that old skin. It's really a time of inspiration. It's a time of healing. It's a time of finding peace within yourself. But the only way that you're going to have find peace is to release and stop lying to yourself or manipulating yourself or whatever it is that you've been doing. You have to, you have to drop that heaviness. You have to drop that burden. You have to decide that you're not going to carry that with you anymore. It's time for you to make this conscious change. And until you make this conscience, conscious change, you will be the one that is, is carrying this heavy weight on your back. I feel as though you need to give deeper thought. You need to give deeper thought to whatever it is that, that is causing you to feel the way that you are. You really need to, you know, make a list of the pros and the cons. Literally, get out a piece of paper and make a list of the pros and the cons. And be honest with yourself. Be real. Don't leave the bad things out just because you don't want to face them. Don't leave the good things out because you don't want to, you don't want to face them. Put it all down there. We're going to start right here. What do we got for the 19th? Keep in mind that this is a message there for whoever it resonates with. This daily vibe is not sign specific. <laughs> no shit. No way. Could it be? Could it be? Self sabotage? And if I wasn't speaking to you like a mother, huh, amazing, self-sabotage, when you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. These cards came flying out. Most of the time, it's not others 
who prevent you from achieving your true goals? It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. We have somebody that is sabotaging themselves by holding on to something. Self-protection, who knows? Lying. I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to know the truth. I don't want to believe the truth. We had one of those yesterday in my comment section. I'm sure you guys all read it. Yeah, Debbie. It's about time you uncover your eyes and see it for what it is. But this is reading isn't just for Debbie. This reading is for the collective, whoever this is meant to be for. But I happen to know that this reading is ab absolutely for Debbie. And for many more. A mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. The Empress is a mother. Just keep that in mind. Somebody is romanticizing about the past, right? Romanticizing, remembering what it used to be like, remembering the love they used to have. That's a remembrance. That's a card of remembrance, okay? Not wanting to wake up, not fully aware. We have somebody here that may be loathing, self-loathing. Um... There's a lot of uh, insecurities here. Somebody's not accepting the truth because of how it used to be. You know, there used to be love in the past, right? Prince of Swords reversed. Ace of Cups. We're going to do it this way this time. Hmm difficulty there's some difficulty in communication there could be some unexpected conflict here but somebody is totally not willing to accept the truth about the past about something being over right about something being over mm -hmm. Right now, somebody is stuck. Okay, this is the right now position. Right now, we have somebody that is stuck and they are going nowhere. They're going nowhere. There's, there's a feeling of despair and, and a lack of healing over the past. I mean, I can't. It is what it is. And you know why? Because we have somebody that's holding on to a karmic relationship. And this reading is for you. Let me point that out. That is a message I heard. This reading is for you. It is not for the person that you are thinking that's holding on to a karmic relationship. This reading is for you. Open your eyes wide. Oh my God. Somebody, the truth is going to come out. The truth is absolutely going to come out. There's no doubt about it. There's a rejection here. There's a rejection with somebody that somebody just cannot accept. They cannot accept the rejection. They cannot accept the loss. Queen of Cups, this is tender loving care, this is compassion, right here your approach, 
This is in your approach position. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Take care of your own heart. Externally, there's some there's some deception. Somebody's not telling the truth. <clears throat> and we have somebody here that's not receiving the reciprocation that they really want. And they're in complete denial over the truth of the matter. <clears throat> Remember I said, it's funny, I had no problems before. I said difficulty in communication. And before I started this reading, before I turned the camera on, I saw the throat chakra. There is absolutely, positively some difficulty in communication. There's some difficulty in acceptance. We have somebody here that is stuck. And they are going nowhere, holding on to some sort of lie. Making a bad judgment call. They keep looking back. They keep observing. They keep watching. They keep investigating. Waiting, waiting, waiting for this offer. Waiting for this person to, to reciprocate. For this person to come around. This person isn't telling you the goddamn truth. They're not. And you're not willing to accept it. I feel like we have a very intuitive individual here who has a really big heart and this person's heart has been taken advantage of. This is a one-sided situation, okay? It's one-sided. We got one person here that is totally in love and the other person isn't even present. They aren't even present. They're not. They're not present. Over here in your hopes and fears, the Four of Swords reverse. This is exhausted, feeling isolated, feeling frustrated. All I want is this love. All I want is big love. All I want is this to go back to where love is. All I want is to be loved. That's all I want. This is this this Ace of Cups is an opportunity for love or overflowing love. There is. But that is around the corner. It's not here because this is the past. This is your past position. Yes. There was love. There was love there. There was love there. We have somebody here that's hoping for a reconciliation with somebody that doesn't want to reciprocate. They're not going to reciprocate. They're not. There's no resurrection of that there's no reunion it's it's not happening but we got somebody here that's in denial and they're 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 really really stuck on some sort of idea that is untruthful it's just not the truth i mean you've got to open your eyes please there's another opportunity here that is going to be so big for you it's going to be so emotionally fulfilling but you have to love yourself enough <laughs> To see it, to wait for it, to not let your loneliness and your frustrations and, you know, your pride get in the way because this has been, this, somebody's been rejected and rejection hurts. So anyway, I, I, I really feel like today is a day where somebody needs to really own up to the truth. Somebody has been through, you know, uh, a situation that brought them a lot of bad luck. It really, it may have cost them some money. It brought them backwards. And they're just <laughs> totally unaware that this was karmic. It's a karmic lesson of some sort. There's that Ace of Wands I saw while I was talking. Remember I said the exciting opportunity? I did see that. I saw the Ace of Wands. So there's an exciting new opportunity. There's a, there you are going to, but you got to see it. This is a vision. There's an exciting opportunity that is coming in. It's come. It's right around the corner. But you have to wake up first. 
You need to look at this as a <clears throat> as a time of inspiration, a time of healing, a time of hope, a time of self-love, a time to get prepared for this new exciting opportunity that is coming in. There is a new exciting opportunity coming in. I feel as though you may not be aware be aware that this bad situation that you were in needed to happen so that you could get prepared for this big opportunity that is coming it's coming it's coming um somebody's getting frustrated with the waiting i want it now i want it right now and if you, you know, i'm sorry that's not the way it goes oh gee some crow yeah no somebody's also holding on to a false contract right somebody they're not compatible with and it's like god has another opportunity or the universe has another opportunity for you and you need to wake up we have somebody here that is making a bad decision somebody is is making a bad decision to perhaps want to rekindle a flame with somebody from their past that doesn't love them, that doesn't even care about them, that's not even present? Come on now. Could be dealing with a Gemini. We have a we have we could have Gemini, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have Aquarius, we have uh Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Anyway, we have everybody. It doesn't really matter. But right here, it's like we have somebody here that may already be in a contract with somebody else we got some uh, somebody else that may not care that's sad three oh that's sad three of swords reversed that is sad it is sad um <laughs> I think we have somebody here that that may be, you know, being sought after for sex. Thinking that it's love. Sorry. We have that one person who is looking for love. I want big love. And it's like they're giving it away to somebody who is taking advantage of them. And I feel like you need to really, if you're thinking this person, you know, is going to help you to heal, you think, but this person isn't going to help you to heal. It's only going to hurt you more. Anyhow, I feel as though we have somebody here that is going to be given an opportunity when they decide to let go of the false contract. I think the 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 desire to, you know, <laughs> find somebody so quickly is bringing some has brought somebody some sort of bad luck. Somebody has made some poor judgment calls which has also brought them bad luck. And now they're going through a period of recovery because of their poor decisions, you know, while all along they were just looking for love, right? I just want love. I just want to remember what love feels like. I just want love again, right? I just want love again, right? Make sure that you are not getting yourself, you're not lying to yourself and getting yourself in some more karmic lessons along the way. Because, hey, I'm telling you what, if you engage yourself in third-party situations when there's another person, you can expect to get karmic payback when you least expect it. And somebody needed to hear that message. Anyhow, I feel like it's, it's really time. You need to, you need to be careful. If you have been engaged in a third party situation or in a false contract or if you have been engaged in a hurtful situation, the truth is going to come out. Just saying, this is bad luck. Okay, just be careful with the seven of swords reversed. Be careful. Be careful. Some secret could be revealed if you have been sneaking around, if you've been shady, if you were the other person. If there has been some shady behavior, somebody may catch wind of it and, huh? Well... Just saying, be careful. Um, I feel as though today there's a lot of reminiscing. Uh, there's a lot of holding on. 
There's a lack of acceptance. Um, I think somebody's holding on to a one-sided relationship. They're refusing to wake up. And you need to love yourself enough to say, you know what? I'm not going to hold on to these past hurts anymore. Somebody may get a new vision that love is bigger than this. I hope that's what this is. I do. I feel as though we have somebody here that needs to be patient. Okay. There's lack of patience with this four of swords. Somebody is very frustrated. I just want love. Getting themselves into false contract or into a false contract. Be careful. Be really, really careful because I feel like you need to wait. I think that you need to wait. You need to work on yourself. You need to take a break and wait. Big love is around the corner. But, you know, acting impulsively is going to get somebody in trouble. And that's what I got. Good luck.